Welcome back to my kitchen. This is Sugar with Sugar in the Attic Homestead. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to cook something in the crock pot, but let's say all these items came from your garden. And this is what you had, and you just had salt and pepper and two chicken breasts, and they'll be frozen. You needed to feed a family of four for two meals. And this is all you had. Could you do it? I know you see potatoes here, bell peppers, green, yellow, red, some celery, and a red onion. It doesn't seem like a lot, but this is part of foodflation fighting foodflation, taking things hopefully from your garden, using them, and making it stretch as far as you can. Potatoes will be in short supply. I don't see many potatoes on the shelves right now. In my opinion, the potatoes I do see, they don't look really good. So let's get started. First, I'm going to put the potatoes, and I will bring you around here slowly into the crock pot. And I'm going to put the potatoes on the bottom. There are 10 small potatoes that I have rough chopped. Okay, and we are going to put these in the crock pot. Hopefully, everything fit, fits because it's a small crock pot. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the celery. Okay, we're gonna just throw that in there. Now remember, this is going to be for four people for two meals. And these are all adults, these, there are no children. Now, I'm going to add one tablespoon of sea salt and just a little pepper and you'll see why in a minute now we've added that we're going to take our onion put it in it's a red onion it's rough chopped everything is rough chopped put that in there the next item we're going to put in the next ingredient would be the peppers. We're going to put red, yellow, and green peppers. The last item we are going to put in here will be the two chicken breasts. They're not really big. In fact, they're pretty small. I'm going to squish it down a little bit. This one's a larger one. I'm going to hope that the lid fits. Again, we're going to put in one tablespoon of sea salt just on top of that chicken. We're going to add some more pepper. Okay. And we also are going to add some water. I'm going to put about two cups of water in here. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put this on low and let it cook all night long. I will check it periodically to see if I need to add any more water. I definitely will bring you back first thing in the morning to show you how it turned out. I know it's a cliffhanger and I apologize. I'm just learning how to put the videos together so I can show you the finished product, but right now, I'm not at that stage. If you found this recipe helpful and maybe something that you've had to do before or might do in the future, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my helpful videos on stretching your meal during this foodflation that we're having. And in the comments below, Share with the community members what you put in a crock pot to stretch your 
limited amount of meat that you might have. I appreciate you stopping by my kitchen. I'll see you first thing in the morning and you can see the finished product.